My name is Mark McDougall. I graduated from GMIT with an honours degree in mechanical engineering. Engineers are interested in anything with moving parts, be it a mechanical, biological or electrical system. Any man-made product in today's world, be it as simple as this pen or more complex, say as a solar panel or a wind turbine, a mechanical engineer had a role in either the initial design, development, manufacturing or sometimes even the selling of the product. Mechanical engineering then is one of the broadest of all engineering disciplines. First year of mechanical engineering here in GMIT really tries to bring all students up to the same level. Not all students come here with honours level math and physics. Some students don't even do physics for the leaving cert. So you'll really get a taste of the engineering world with core subjects such as math, physics and some development of your IT skills with some basic 3D modeling. Second year then really tries to focus your learning on more traditional mechanical engineering subjects such as fluid and thermodynamics, strength of materials, machine design and automation and control where math still has a very strong presence. Third year is the year where you really see how everything you've learned fits into the engineering world. A lot of the learning is self-learning with multiple projects to complete for each of the subjects. Core subjects such as heat transfer and product design. Previous projects include one that I was involved in which was the design, manufacture and test of a micro hydroelectric power station and previously the design of an artificial heart pump. You can of course in your third year gain work experience within an engineering company. Fourth year you have the option to specialise in one of three areas. Energy, biomedical and product design. Your specialisation influences three of your subjects and your final year project. My final year project, having chosen the energy stream, was to design, manufacture and test a solar heat engine generator. The project required me to design a theoretical engine, mapping its performance mathematically while applying real world losses. I then had to manufacture the engine using original and existing designs using GMIT's facilities and then to test the engine's performance to compare it with the theoretical model. The engine I chose to use was the Stirling engine for its high achievable efficiencies. The engine had a mechanical output of 40 watts with an efficiency of 11%. Yes, all from our Irish side. Some of the skills you'll need as a potential mechanical engineer are math, obviously, but I also think physics is very important. Sometimes it's hard to see where the math you're using fits into the real world. With physics, you're using mathematics to solve real world problems. And I think that closely resembles engineering. You'll also need to be a good problem solver, being both analytical and creative in your problem solving. Thinking outside the box. One of the greatest skills I acquired here in GMIT was my ability to be self-driven in my learning. To go out there, pick up a book and learn these things myself outside of class. I also did a lot of presentations, which I thought was a unique experience to really understand what I was learning and also to be very confident in what I was learning, to then demonstrate that to my classmates and lecturers. The greatest experience I had here in GMIT was my final year project. I had the unique opportunity to take the ideas that were in my head, uh, put them down on paper, and to build them with my own hands in front of my own eyes. GMIT gave me that opportunity, and that's what I'm most happy.